Hello everyone. Welcome to Let's Crack UPSC CSA English. In today's session, we'll learn about INS Current Scorpion class submarine introduced in Indian Navy recently. Yes. So we'll learn about each and everything about submarine. Yes, it's a non-nuclear submarine. We'll learn various classes of submarine in today's lecture. Yes, friends. It's my pleasure to inform you all about an academy's free carnival scheduled on tomorrow from morning 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. where 100 plus top educators will guide you throughout 400 plus classes which includes MCQs and PYQs discussions. Yes, so do not forget to attend an academy's free carnival tomorrow. Yes, friends. It's my pleasure to welcome you all on An Academy, India's largest learning platform where you will get daily life classes along with structured courses, unlimited access for live and recorded classes plus live tests so you can evaluate yourself throughout the preparation. We 100 plus top educators will guide you through your journey. Yes, it's me, Rishikesh Inamdar, guiding UPSC aspirants from last eight years. You can follow me on Unacademy and you can join our Telegram group using this link. Yes, friends, those aspirants are looking for any particular subject or module, we have 15,000 plus courses available on our platform for UPSC CSC. So these courses include polity, governance, international relations, history, Indian economy, geography, environment and ecology, science and technology, and many more. So as per your choice, you can start your preparation. Even we have optional courses as well. Yes, those aspirants are looking for paid subscriptions. We have plus an iconic subscription on our platform where you will get 10% discount using referral code RBI Life. Yes, friends. These are our iconic and plus subscriptions. Yes, along with the features of plus courses, you will get personal guidance experts guidelines study material study planner along with test analysis in iconic course so it's my suggestion to those aspirants are planning to appear for the prelims in 22 or 2023 they can opt for iconic course yes for the optional co courses as well you will get 10 percent discount using code rbi life Yes, friends, we have combo subscription for general studies and optional for one year, two year and three years courses. Here also, you will get 10% discount using referral code RBI Life. So hurry up and enroll yourself as per your convenience for various courses. Yes, now those aspirants are appearing for upcoming prelims, they can start evaluate themselves through our free test series by Unacademy. So you can unlock the tests using referral code RBI Life. Yes, friends. So on this our platform, you will get test series for current affairs and complete general studies. So start evaluate yourself before appearing for the prelims in June. Yes. 
these are our new batches for UPSC CSC and PLIMS as well. So we have one year, two year batches. Yes, last but not least friends, do not forget to attend an academic combat which is scheduled on 21st March in the morning 11 o'clock. Again, you can enroll yourself using a referral code RBI life. Yes, friends. Sorry. So you can use a referral code RBI life to unlock your enrollment at the Unacademy Combat. Yes. Now we'll start our today's topic. INS Current. Yes. So Indian Navy's third stealth scorpion class submarine INS Karanj has been commissioned into the Indian Navy yes this was recently in the news so it also completed the trials of the indigenous air independent propulsion AIP yes air independent propulsion AIP system jointly developed by Naval Materials Research Laboratory, NMRL and DRDO. Yes, friends. So, INS, INS Current is the third submarine of the first batch of six Calvary class submarines. Yes, we'll see this Calvary class features in this lecture itself. So, INS Current is the third submarine of the first batch of six Calvary class submarines for the Indian Navy. Yes, it is a diesel electric attack submarine based on the Scorpion class designed by French Naval Defense and Energy Group DCNS and manufactured by Marsgaon Dock Limited, an Indian ship shipyard in Mumbai yes which is also known as MDL so Indian Navy's third stealth scorpion class submarine INS Current yes has been commissioned at the naval dockyard Mumbai recently yes so this scorpion submarines yes we are using the word scorpion submarines I'll explain you the all features of Scorpion submarines in this session. Yes, so keep watching this video till the end. You will get all the information related submarine various classes and Scorpion submarine as well. So the Sc Scorpion submarines are one of the most advanced conventional submarines in the world. Yes, which more deadly and stealthier than their Predecessors, yes, these submarines are equipped with potent weapons and sensors to neutralize any threat above or below the sea surface. Yes, so these are the most advanced submarines in the world. Yes, now we'll see the history of INS Current. Yes, friends. So, the earlier version of the submarine, which belonged to the Foxtrot class, was first commissioned in 1969 at Riga in the East Wild USSR. Yes, so the earlier version of the current submarine, which belonged to the Foxtrot class, was first commissioned in 1969 at Riga in the East Wild USSR. So a proposal to form a submarine arm also referred to as the silent arm of the Indian Navy was first envisaged in 1959 but it was only in 1964 that the Soviet government agreed for transfer by purchase for four Foxtrot class submarines 
of which INS Karanj was a part. Yes, so a proposal to form a submarine arm also referred to as the silent arm of the Indian Navy was first envisaged in 1959 but it was only in 1964 that the Soviet government agreed for transfer by purchase for four Foxtrot class submarines of which INS Karanj was a part. Yes, so the earlier version of the submarine which was first commissioned in 1969 at Riga Yes, in the East, while USSR had played a key role during the 1970 or 71 Indo Pak War. Yes, this INS Karanj had played an important role during the Indo Pak War in 1970 or 71. So, this INS Karanj belongs to the Foxtrot class. of USSR yes and earlier version of the current was commissioned in 1969 at Riga in the East while USSR yes so all the four constituted the eight submarine squadron and played a key role during the 1970 or 71 Indo-Pak war so the INS current went on to serve the nation for 34 years till 2003. Yes, after the commission in Indian Navy, the INS Karanj went to serve the nation for 34 years. Yes, after that, in recognition of the valiant action of her officers and crew, a number of personnel were decorated, including the award of V Chakra to them, commanding officer Ruyas Shekhawat as well. Yes, these are the glorified history of INS current. Now, we'll see about the submarines. Yes, friends. So, one of the captain of the Soviet submarine. Agor Britnow stated that submarine life is not a service but a religion. Yes, submarine life is not a service but a religion. So we can just feel the soldiers or Navy personnel are serving our, our nation through this submarine services yes now question is that number of aspirants asking what is mean by submarine yes friends so a submarine is a type of ship that can travel both above and below the surface of the sea yes so a submarine is a type of ship that can travel both above and below the surface of the sea. Yes. Now, we'll see the submarines in detail. Yes, friends. So, see the overview of structure of submarine. In the front part, these are the four weapons. Yes, these are the communication and control room. In this part, machinery. Yes, in this region, there are auxiliary machinery, and these two parts are reserved for the Accommodation for the servicemen of the submarine. Yes, this is the overview 
of the submarine. Now, we'll see. The Indian Navy currently operates 14 diesel powered submarines and two nuclear powered submarines. Yes. The Indian Navy currently operates 14 diesel powered submarines and two nuclear powered submarines. Yes. India's submarine fleet is based at two locations Vishakhapatnam on the east coast yes see the location on map Vishakhapatnam on the east coast and Mumbai on the west coast yes So, our India's submarine fleet is based at these two locations, Mumbai on the west coast and Vishakhapatnam on the east coast. Yes, friends. Now, total, our Indian Navy has total submarine in fleet, total 16 in number. Yes. So, Ballistic Missile Submarine SSBNS-1 Nuclear Powered Attack Submarines SSNS-1 and Diesel Electric Attack Submarines 14. Yes, SSKS Diesel electric attack submarines 14 in numbers and we don't have air independent propulsion AIP enabled submarine but now we have just recently developed AIP in the INS current. Yes, which is diesel electric attack submarine. Yes, now just have a look of the fleet of submarines. Yes. Now we'll see the details that is we have INS Sindhu Ghosh. So there are Sindhu Ghosh, Shishumar, Chakra, Arihan, Kalavri classes of submarines. So INS Sindhu Ghosh was commissioned in 2005. Then INS Sindhu Dhwaj was commissioned in 2006, belongs to the Sindhu Ghosh class. Then INS Sindhu Raj belongs to Sindhu Ghosh class, commissioned in 2016. INS Sindhu Ratna from Sindhu Ghosh class was commissioned in 2016. INS Sindhu Kesri belongs to Sindhu Ghosh class was commissioned in 2005 INS Sindhu Kirti belongs to Sindhu Ghosh class commissioned in 2006 INS Sindhu Vijay belongs to Sindhu Ghosh class commissioned in 2007 then INS Sindhu Rashtra belongs to Sindhu Ghosh class commissioned in 2016 then INS Shishumar belongs to Shishumar class commissioned in 2016 INS Shankush belongs to Shishumar class commissioned in 2016 
2016 INS Shalki belongs to Shishumar class and built by Mazgao Docker Limited MDL was commissioned in 2016 then INS Shankul belongs to Shishumar class commissioned in 2016 yes then INS Chakra 2 belongs to Chakra class was commissioned in 2016 INS Arihant belongs to Arihant class was commissioned in 2016 INS Calvary belongs to Calvary class was commissioned in 2019 now remember this class because in today's session we will learn this class in detail and INS current is also the part of this class yes after that INS Khanderi belongs to class Calvary was commissioned in 2019 and INS Karanj yes INS Karanj belongs to the class of Calvary was commissioned in 2021 yes good evening everyone in today's lecture, we are studying about INS current, yes, which is Scorpion class submarine. Yes, Ram Kumar, we have covered the basic information related INS current and introductory information of submarines where we are currently studying the fleet of the ships or submarines of Indian Navy yes so INS current belongs to the Calvary class was commissioned in March 2021 then INS Vela belongs to Calvary class is under trial and expected to commission in this year itself then we have INS Vagir belongs to Calvary class is also under sea trial and expected to be commissioned in 2022 yes and INS Arigat is also belongs from class Arihant which is under C trial is expected to commission in 2021 yes friends now those yes those aspirants joined recently just have a recap we have started with the India, India's Scorpion class submarine INS Karanj has been commissioned into the Indian Navy. Yes, so it is a diesel electric attack submarine based on the Scorpion class. Yes, which is designed by French Naval Defense and Energy Group and manufactured by MDL yes an Indian ship shipyard in Mumbai yes then we have covered history of currents so the earlier version of the submarine which belonged to the Foxtrot class and was first commissioned in 1969 at Riga in the East Wine USSR Yes, so this submarine played a key role during the 1970 or 71 Indo-Pak war and INS current earlier version 
served the nation for 34 years. Yes, after that, now we are, after that we have studied about the submarine. So the submarine is a type of ship that can travel both above and below the surface of the sea. Yes. Then we have studied about the overview of submarine parts like weapons, communications and control room, machinery, auxiliary machinery, accommodation. Yes. Our India's submarine fleet is based at two locations, Vishakhapatnam on the east coast and Mumbai on the west coast. Yes, so total submarine in fleet are 16, where we have ballistic missile submarine, one, one nuclear powered attack submarine and 14 diesel electric attack submarines. Yes, then we have covered or we have learned the year of commission of these ships. Yes, that is submarines. And just remember INS Courage from the Calavery class was commissioned in March 2021. Yes, friends. So, in the historical background, we can say or the footprints like in February 2015, the Indian government approved the indigenous construction of six nuclear powered attack submarines at the shipbuilding center in Vishakhapatnam. Yes. So in February 2015, our Indian government approve the indigenous construction of six nuclear powered attack submarines at SBC in Vishakhapatnam. Then on 29 June 2016, the Indian Navy signed a contract with Germany's Tensor Group Marine Systems TKMS to upgrade two of the four Shishumar class diesel electric attack submarines including arming the boats with Boeing anti-ship missile systems. Yes, on 28th September 2018, India contracted Germany's TKMS again for an upgrade of the INS Shishumar type 209. Yes, and this upgrade will complete it by this year. In July 2018, Russian shipbuilder Vaskucha and Indian shipbuilder Larsen and Turbo Alanti announced their partnership on an upgrade of Kilo class submarine. Yes. So currently India is indigenously building six new scorpion class vessels. Yes. So presently we are building six new scorpion class vessels at the state owned Masgao Dock Limited MDL in Mumbai in partnership with France Naval Group. Yes. So the first of these submarines the Calavri was commissioned in 2000, yes, in 2017, whereas the INS Kandari, Kandari was commissioned in or was commissioned on 20th September 2019. Yes. Now, INS Vela and INS Vulgate were launched and are currently undergoing sea trials. And the remaining vessel, INS Vakshir, is under construction. So this is the present development 
related with the submarines indigenous submarines yes india's nuclear powered submarine program is under the management and operations of the defense research and development organization that is drdo and the department of atomic energy and the indian navy at visakhapatnam yes india's nuclear powered submarine program is under the management and operations of the drdo da and indian navy at visakhapatnam base so our country took steps to operationalize its nuclear tried by commissioning its first atv submarine the ins arihant in august 2016 yes we took steps to operationalize our nuclear tried by commissioning a first atv submarine ins arihant in august 2000 16 if we are talking about this ins arihan which carries 12 sagrika submarine launched ballistic missiles slbms with a range of around 700 km as well as versions of the nuclear capable nirbhay cruise missiles yes so friends the ins arihant carries 12 sagrika submarine launched ballistic missile with a range of around 700 km as well as versions of the nuclear capable nirbhay cruise missiles yes so in january 2018 a media sources reported the propulsion system of the ins arihan was flooded after crew member left a hatch improperly secured leaving it inoperative for about 10 months however in november 2018 it was announced that ins arihan had undertaken its first deton patrol Yes. So, the Indian government did not release information regarding the type of submarine launched ballistic missiles the Aryan carry and whether they were matched with nuclear warhead. Notably, the official Indian policy is to keep nuclear warheads demoted from actual missiles. Yes. So, in november 2017 yes prashant uh, i'll discuss various class in this session itself this have patience i'll come to that point with the features of these classes yes So in November 2017 India launched the second nuclear submarine of four planned Aryan class nuclear submarines INS Arighat So the INS Arighat is expected to commission by 2021 So additionally the Indian Navy has begun construction on the remaining two Aryan class submarines the S3 and S4 at the ship building center in vadodara and the successor of the arihan have long range k4 that is 3500 km slbms in lieu of the arihan's k15 delivery systems yes now in recently in march 2019 india and russia signed a deal for the lease of another akula class nuclear submarine to india for 10 years and the new vessel called the chakra 3 will be delivered to the indian navy by 2025 yes india is currently constructing two new submarine bases 
The first is Karwa, located 500 kilometers south of Mumbai. And the second is secret naval base called the INS Varsha. This base is on the east coast near Kakinada and will have underground pains for the submarines. Yes. Now we'll see these classes in detail. Yes. So friends, Sindhu Ghosh class. India possesses nine Sindhu Ghosh class diesel electric attack submarines. So this kilo class units act as the mainstay of India's submarine fleet. and are being pro progressively retrofitted to accommodate the Club 3M54E Alpha Cruise Missile System. Yes friends, Sindhu Ghosh class. So these submarines are 72.6 meters long with 9.9 .9 meter wide beam and can travel up to 18 knots when submerged. Yes. So they can remain submerged for about 45 days without surfacing and their weapon systems are capable of firing torpedoes and anti-ship missiles. Yes, these are the features of Sindhu Ghosh class. So these submarines are 72.6 meters long with 9.9 .9 meter wide beam and can travel up to 18 knots when submerged. Yes, they can remain submerged for about 45 days. Yes, without surfacing and their weapon systems are capable of firing torpedoes and anti-ship missiles. Yes. Next is, after Sindhu Ghosh class, we'll see Shishumar class. Yes, type 209 oblique 1500. So India operates four Shishumar class vessels designed by Hall Street Dutch WEF HDW in Germany. Why? The first two vessels from the Shishumar class were built at SGW and the third and the fourth boats were constructed as the at the Mazgaon dock in Mumbai which is from packages supplied by SGW. Yes. So this Shishumar class submarines are 65 meters long with an 8 meter wide beam and can travel up to 22.5 knots when submerged. Yes, they can remain submerged for about 50 days without surfacing and their weapon systems are capable of firing torpedoes. Yes, all four of the Shishumar class vessels have undergone refits since they were commissioned. Yes. Then, Shakra class. Yes, friends. So, INS Chakra. Chakra class. So INS Chakra 2 is a Russian Akula class nuclear powered attack submarine. So it is operated by Indian Navy on lease for 10 years. Yes, friends.
Now, it was formally commissioned into the service in India in April 2012 and is expected to be written to Russia in 2022. Yes, Chakra class, INS Chakra is a Russian Akula class nuclear powered attack submarine and it is operated by Indian Navy on lease for 10 years. Yes. So this is these class leased by India from Russia for the period of 10 years. Yes. Then we'll see the features of Aryanth class. Yes, one of the aspirant was raised the question related with the what is been my Aryanth class. Now listen carefully. Yes, so the India is expected to build between three to the six nuclear powered ballistic missile submarines under our ATV program. Yes, so the first vessel in this class, INS Arihant was commissioned in 2014 and it is powered by an 83 megawatt pressurized light water reactor PWR filled with enriched uranium. Yes, now see the features of Aryanth class. So the first vessel in this class INS Aryanth was commissioned in 2014. Yes, this class is powered by an 83 megawatt pressurized light water reactor PWR filled with enriched uranium yes and the Arihant class submarines are 110 meters long with an 11 meter wide beam and can travel up to 24 knots when submerged yes they can remain submerged for about 50 days without surfacing and their weapon system are capable of firing torpedoes and submarine launched ballistic missiles. However, the next ships in the class after INS Arihant are expected to be larger and more powerful in terms of both firepower and nuclear power. Yes, so the Arihant class vessels commissioned in 2014. Yes, so this INS Arihant is Part by an 83 MW pressurized light water reactor PWR filled with enriched uranium. Yes, it can travel up to 24 knots when submerged, and they can remain submerged for about 50 days without surfacing. Yes, and their weapon systems are capable of firing torpedoes and submarine launched ballistic missiles. However, the next ships in the class expected to be larger and more powerful. Yes, this is the information about the Arihant class. Now we'll see the Calvary class. Yes, friends. So, Calvary class is one of the important like India is expected to build six Calvary class diesel electric attack submarines under the project 75 program. Yes, we'll see the project 75 in detail as well. So India is expected to build six Calvary class diesel electric attack submarines under project 75 program. So the first vessel in Calvary class was commissioned in 2017. 
Yes. So this class is based on French Scorpion class submarines. Yes, this cavalry class is based on the French Scorpion class submarines and these submarines are 67.5 meters long with a 6.2 meter wide beam and can travel up to 20 knots when submerged and they can remain submerged for about 50 days without surfacing. Their weapon system are capable of firing torpedoes and anti-ship missiles. Yes. So this cavalry class, so we are expected to build six cavalry class diesel electric attack submarines under project 75. Yes, and the first vessel in this class was commissioned in 2017. Yes, so this class based on the French Scorpion class submarines. And these submarines are 67.5 meters long with a 6.2 meter wide beam and can travel up to 20 knots when submerged. Yes, they can remain submerged for about 50 days without surfacing and their weapons are capable of firing torpedoes and anti-ship missiles. Yes, Prashant, it's all about Arihant class and Calivary class features. Now, after that, just have a look on Indian Navy submarines. Yes, these are the non-nuclear classes. So, Calavery class, which is Scorpion, based on Scorpion submarines France. Then, INS, or then, first is Calavery class, then Shushumar class, then Sindhu Ghosh class. Yes. Yes, friends. Yes, now. So friends, do not forget to attend free carnival for UPSC CSC prelims 2021, which is scheduled on tomorrow, 20th March from morning 8 a.m. to 11 p.m where 100 plus top educators will guide you for your preparation. Yes, friends. Now, come to the topic, submarines, where we are studying today, INS current. Yes, friends. Now, submarines of the Indian Navy are highly sophisticated and technologically advanced platforms. Yes, submarines of the Indian Navy are highly sophisticated and technologically advanced platforms. Yes, onboard submarines may work with state-of-the-art weapons, navigational systems, communication sites, diving 
equipment etc yes so the art of submarine warfare involves having a good understanding of own capabilities and limitations and be able to turn them to own advantage yes so the art of submarine warfare involves having a good understanding of our own capabilities and limitations and be able to turn them to own advantage so in order to fulfill the aim of using the submarine as an instrument of tactical warfare personnel go through many years of rigorous practice in the art of operating weapon and sensors yes now as we have discussed a number of times in today's session the scorpion class now we'll see details of scorpion class submarines yes so the scorpion class submarines are one of the most advanced conventional submarines in the world yes the submarine has superior stealth features such as advanced acoustic silencing techniques low radiated noise levels and ability to attack with precision guided weapons on board yes these submarines as superior stealth features such as advanced acoustic silencing techniques low radiated noise levels and ability to attack with precision guided weapons on board yes the indian navy intends to use the submarines for missions such as area surveillance intelligence gathering anti submarine warfare anti surface warfare and manning operations yes so the submarines are armed with six torpedo launching tubes 18 heavy weapons tube launched mbdsm39 yes exodic anti ship missiles and precision guided weapons so it can launch crippling attack on surface and underwater enemy targets yes so scorpion class submarines are one of the most advanced conventional submarines in the world yes so the this the attack submarines can travel at maximum submerged speed of approximately 20 knots and have the ability to remain submerged for 21 days yes it has a diving depth of more than 350 meters yes so the scorpion submarines can undertake multifarious missions like anti surface anti submarine warfare as well as intelligence gathering area surveillance etc yes they are designed to operate in all three which means provided to ensure interoperate operability yes so these are the features of scorpion class submarines yes friends so the state of the art technology utilized for the construction of scorpion class submarines has ensured superior stealth features like acoustic acoustic silencing techniques low radiated noise levels hydrodynamically optimized shape and the ability to launch an attack on the enemy using precision guided weapons yes the attack can be mounted with both torpedoes and tube launched anti ship missiles at the same time as underwater 
or on the surface. Yes, this scorpion class submarines. Can attack. Yes, so the attack can be mounted with both torpedoes and tube launched anti ship missiles at the same time as underwater or on the surface. Yes, the stealth of this strong platform is enhanced by the spatial attention given to various signatures. So these stealth features give it invulnerability unmatched by most submarines. Yes, the stealth of this strong platform is enhanced by the spatial attention given to various signatures and these stealth features give it invulnerability and unmatched by most submarines. Yes, the Scorpion class of submarines were designed by French naval shipbuilding firm DCNS in partnership with Spanish shipbuilding firm Nantia. Yes, these are the Scorpion class submarines were designed by French naval shipbuilding firm DCNS in partnership with Spanish shipbuilding firm Navantia. Yes. If we are talking about in the context of our country, the first such submarine INS Calavri was launched in October 2015 and commissioned in December 2017. Yes, INS Calavri was launched in October 2015 and commissioned in December 2017. Yes. The second INS Kandiri was launched in January 2017 for sea trials and commissioned in September 2019. INS Kandiri was commissioned in September 2019. Yes, then INS Vela was launched in May 2019 and is under, undergoing sea trials whereas INS Wagir was launched in November 2020 and is also undergoing sea trials and the sixth submarine INS Wagshir is at the stage of outfitting. Yes. So this is uh, information related with the spark Scorpion, Scorpion class submarines, Scorpion class submarines and in context of India, we are developing various submarines into Indian Navy or we are commissioned, we are commissioned INS Kalavri, INS Kandari, and now INS Vela, INS Wagir, and INS Wakshu is in the process. Yes, then as we have discussed, Project 75 1, that is Project 75. So, what is meant by Project 75? So, under this project, the Indian Navy. Is planning to build six largest latest generation, six latest generation attack submarines. Yes, so the six largest, six latest generation attack submarines are being built under this project, and they are expected to be completed by 2022. Yes, this project 75 is taking shape at. MDL Mumbai Mazgao Dock Limited. 
Yes, naval group. Yes, so naval group is among the five original equipment manufacturers OEM shortlisted for the Navy's project and was proceeded through the strategic partnership model of defense procurement. Yes, so Mazgao Dock Limited and Larson and Turbo are two Indian companies shortlisted under this project. Yes. So friends, this is information related to the project 75. Now, just, just have a look at the short video released by our Indian Navy at, at the time of commission INS Courage. Yes, friends. Thanks for Indian Navy. Yes, thankful for the informatory video. Yes, so the INS Current, what we have covered that is INS Current is India's third of the six Scorpion class submarine with superior stealth and combat capabilities. Yes, which is the diesel electric attack submarine has been built under Mazgao Dock Care Limited's Project 75 in collaboration with a French firm. Yes, so Current has been equipped with the best sensors in the world and is fitted with an integrated platform. Yes. So, NS Current has been equipped with the best sensors in the world and is fitted with an integrated platform management system to provide centralized propulsion and machinery control. Yes. The powerful diesel engines can quickly charge batteries for a stealth mission profile and also its modular construction enables upgradation to air independent propulsion in the future. Yes. Current is featured with a permanent magnetic synchronous motor making it one of the quietest submarines in the world. Yes, quietest submarines in the world as we know when we are conducting various operations for the security purpose, it will beneficial. For the surveillance purpose as well. So this current is fitted with 
a permanent magnetic synchronized motor making it one of the quietest submarines in the world yes so one of the commanding officer said that we can proudly say that current is the first truly indigenous submarine and it encapsulates the spirit of making india yes so current is like a child to us who we have seen growing into a war weapon yes friends so this is all about ins current yes friends now just have a recap what we have covered in today's lecture yes we have started with the recent news related with the ins current scorpion class submarine commissioned in the indian navy yes so just have a recap yes friends so this is indian navy's third stealth scorpion class submarine ins current has been commissioned into the indian navy recently yes this is the third submarine of the first batch of six cavalry class submarines for the indian navy yes the scorpion submarines are one of the most advanced conventional submarines in the world so this cavalry class belongs to the scorpion submarines category then we have studied the history of current so the earlier version of the submarine current which belonged to the fox tot class and was commissioned in 1969 at riga in the east while ussr yes so this earlier version of the current had played a key role during the 1970-71 indo-pak war so ins current went on to the service of the nation for 34 years till 2003 yes after that we have studied the information related with submarines yes so a submarine is a type of ship that can travel both above and below the surface of the sea yes these are the categories yes so we can say these are the various categories with the various features that's why the word class is used to distinguish the features of submarines yes this is the nomenclature for the distinguish between the features of various categories yes then we have covered the overview of the submarine
Yes, in the context of Indian Navy, currently Indian Navy operates 14 diesel powered submarines and two nuclear powered submarines. Yes, so the India submarine fleet is based at two locations at Mumbai on the western coast and at Vishakhapatnam on the east coast. Yes, we have total 16 submarines in fleet where ballistic missile submarine 1, nuclear powered attack submarines 1, diesel electric attack submarines 40. Yes. Then we have covered the name of submarines belongs to the class and commissioned year. So INS current belongs to Calavery class. Yes, which is Scorpion class submarine. which is commissioned in 2021 yes then we have studied the recent development Yes, so we are currently constructing two new submarine bases. First is Carver, located 500 kilometers south of Mumbai. And second is on the east coast near Kakinada. Yes, then we have covered the various class like Sindhu Ghosh, Shishumar, Chakra, Arihant, Kalavri, yes, so this is the important class for the today's session we can say, Calvary class, yes, so our country is expected to build six Calvary class diesel electric attack submarines under its project 75 yes and the first vessel in this class was commissioned in 2017 so this class calavery class is based on the french scorpion class submarines yes Then we have covered the information related with the submarines like submarines of the Indian Navy are highly sophisticated and technology advanced platforms. Yes, so onboard submarines may work with state of the art weapons, navigational systems, communication sets, diving equipment, etc. Yes, the art of submarine warfare involves having a good understanding of own capabilities and limitations and be able to turn them to own advantage during the warfare. After that, we have covered Scorpion class submarines, features of this class. Yes.
So the Scorpion class of submarines were designed by French naval shipbuilding firm DCNS in partnership with Spanish shipbuilding firm Navintia. Yes, then we have covered various vessels under this class and then we have studied project 75 under this project a nation is building six latest generation attack submarines and they are expected to be completed by 2022 and this project is taking shape at MDL Mumbai, Masgaon Dock Limited Mumbai. Yes, so the MDL and Larson and Turbo are the two Indian companies shortlisted under this project. Yes, then So basically this INS current is reflecting or is showing the spirit of making India. So it's all about INS current. In the next lecture, we'll see new topic. Yes, friends. So even you can join our telegram group group for daily updates yes friends so keep revising keep studying and you can use our referral code rbi live to get 10 percent discount and please like share and subscribe unacademy videos and unacademy channels on youtube you can watch our special classes on Unacademy app as well. And do not forget to enroll for Unacademy Combat and free test series. So keep studying. Keep learning. See you in the next lecture with new topic. All the best. Take care. Thank you.